guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really requested video and it is my sweatshirt collection. So actually I wanna talk about, I am in a different location today. I'm not in my room because the lighting in my room when it's nighttime is not good at all. So I'm actually in my TV room. I'm doing my beloved sweatshirt collection because you guys know that I wear sweatshirts basically every single day because I would rather be comfortable over wearing something that's uncomfortable. So my go-to outfit is a sweatshirt and yoga pants or yeah, basically that's it. I just wanna hit this point really quick before I get into the actual video. I am missing three of my favorite sweatshirts. One of them my sister took. Two of them are in the wash and the one that my sister took is a really light gray, almost whitish cropped zip up sweatshirt from Brandy Melville. And then the two that are in the wash, one of them is a plain crew neck from Brandy Melville. And then the other one you guys see all the time in my Instagram pictures, all the time in my Instagram stories, all the time in my videos is a light creamish yellow hoodie sweatshirt from Champion. So you guys know exactly which ones I'm talking about or you might know exactly which ones I'm talking about, but those ones are the ones that I'm actually missing. So I won't have them in this video. Anyway, let's get into this video. So this isn't in any sort of order of sweatshirts. Also, I took each and every one of these off the hanger. So I have to put them back on the hanger after this video. So I'm gonna just show you guys my sweatshirts, where they're from, the sizes I get, and hopefully it gives you guys some sort of an idea of sweatshirt that, sweatshirts that you wanna get or it gives you maybe an idea to even ask for one of these sweatshirts or a few of them for Christmas because you guys know I love these and I wear them every day so I want you guys to wear them every day and feel as comfortable as I do in them. Okay, besides the fact that I keep rambling, let's get into it. My first sweatshirt I'm showing you is this royal blue champion sweatshirt so this is i think the newest one to my mini collection this sweatshirt i got from finish line and it is in a size medium so yeah i love it i love these sweatshirts being bigger all champion sweatshirts that i have i try to get in, in a medium because i love them being bigger the second sweatshirt i'm going to show you is one of my favorites i love this sweatshirt to death it's another champion one this one's a very almost like vintage champion sweatshirt and it is again in the size medium. I got this one off of Urban Outfitters. Actually, I used Dote to get it and if you guys want to use Dote, which I, a lot of my sweatshirts you can get on Dote. Um, my code is TDHT if you guys want to sign up for Dote. It gives you $5 credit, which obviously goes to your purchases. And yeah, so I got this one off of Dote. Cute sweatshirt, love it. I love wearing that one mostly in the summer-ish times, like spring-ish, beginning of fall when it's not too hot but not too cold and you can wear it with shorts because I think it looks better with shorts rather than wearing it with like yoga pants or something. Whatever you personally feel like wearing it with, you wear it with. But this orange Nike sweatshirt is from, where did I get this from? I think I might have gotten it from, where do you normally get Nike sweatshirts? Hmm, I think I got it from a Nike store in like Boston or something. But yeah, just a Nike sweatshirt and I got it in the size medium as well. So sweatshirts that are normally unisex, um, I get in a size medium or boy sweatshirts I get in a medium because I like them fitting a lot bigger. Okay, next is a cropped, actually, let me see if I have any more champion hoodies. Oh, I do, okay, cool. Um, the next champion sweatshirt I have, I'm not sure where you can actually get the sweatshirt. Um, I got it sent to me by, Ch wait, that's awkward because you know how I talked about um, one of my sweatshirts being washed and it was my Brandy Melville crew neck that has no, nothing on it, just a plain crew neck. And I said it was in the wash, it's actually not. That's my champion crew neck that's in the wash that says Boston champion. I'm not sure where I got that from because champion actually sent it to me. So. Hmm, I'll try to find it for you guys and link it below, but I'm not sure if I will be able to find it, which I'm so sorry about. But anyway, this sweatshirt, the next sweatshirt is a crew neck, plain crew neck from Brandy Melville. Thought that this was in the wash, but it's not. It was my champion sweatshirt. So here it is, just simple, light gray crew neck. You guys get it. And the next sweatshirt I have is a, it's by a Jersey's. 
and it's a size medium. Um, it's just a Virginia sweatshirt for University of Virginia. Um, one of my sister's friends used to go there, so I got a sweatshirt once visiting, and I love the sweatshirt so much. I just think that things think it's so comfy cozy and if you guys ever want to get like a college sweatshirt or that exact one I think you can just search up like the college name and then clothing or like sweatshirts and stuff and I'm sure you can just order one online okay so this next sweatshirt is the start of my addiction for cropped sweatshirts this one is from Brandy Melville and it is in the just normal sweatshirt gray sweatshirt color and it's a cropped zip up sweatshirt with a little obviously hood strings um it just looks like this normal little sweatshirt and i have this one in a lighter whitish cream gray ish color i'm not sure how to explain it but i again my sister took that from me to her apartment so i don't have it with me but i have it in this color gray and the other one so absolutely love that sweatshirt perfect for any normal school that school day where you want to wear something with a zipper instead of just a pullover the next crop sweatshirt i have is in this light gray and this one is from urban outfitters i actually have this exact sweatshirt in two other colors i have it in dark gray i mean dark gray this is light gray i have it in dark green army green which i have no clue where it is right now I have to try to find that before I, I don't know, I have to try to find that sweatshirt. This is so bad, but you know what it looks like. You can just go onto Urban Outfitters and find it. Just looks like this, but instead it's in an army green, dark greenish color. And I do have it in this color right here and it is red. I absolutely, I love this sweatshirt. I used to never wear it when my hair was lighter just because I thought it didn't look that good with my hair because I don't know for a while when my hair was blondish i thought that red didn't really look good on me i don't know personal opinion but i've been loving it right now especially with my dark hair love this sweatshirt so again just the crop sweatshirt from urban outfitters and both of those sweatshirts actually the last few sweatshirts i have shown you guys have been in a size extra small so all the crop sweatshirts i've shown you have been in an extra small i always get my crop sweatshirts in extra smalls because they are less boxy when I wear them. Okay, the next two, three sweatshirts are from Brandy Melville. And the first one I'm gonna show you guys is black cropped sweatshirt. So it looks like the ones that I just showed you, except it is from Brandy Melville. And this, the quality of this one isn't as thick as the ones from Urban Outfitters. I think the ones from Urban Outfitters keep you more cozy and warm. And I don't know, there's just something about them. They're like thicker. They're like a good quality sweatshirt. This one is thin and it's not that good quality and it gets pilly easily. So if you guys want a black crop sweatshirt, I don't recommend Brandy Melville. I do recommend Urban Outfitters, so that's a good call. Um, but it looks like this simple, cute sweatshirt with the strings and the hood and Brandy Melville sometimes are weird with their sizes and they just do a one size fits all type of thing or they do like a small medium and a or a small and like a medium large type of thing. I think that's one size fits all, but it fits like a small, so yeah. Then the next sweatshirt is from Brandy Melville as well, and it is another crop sweatshirt, but this one's a crew neck, it doesn't have a hood, and it is in a charcoal gray. I love this sweatshirt to death. I have had this for the longest time, and this one's actually pretty good quality. It feels like the Urban Outfitters ones, except it doesn't have a hood, and I love it. I think this was one of my first crop sweatshirts I ever got. I had it for, I've had this sweatshirt for the longest time ever, but it's still in such good condition. And it's big, like the sleeves of it are bigger, so it fits like not as snug and it's really comfy. Definitely in one size fits all. And I'm, yeah, OS, one size. And I'm not sure if you guys can actually get it online anymore, but if you can try to find a dupe of it, do that. It's the most comfortable best sweatshirt ever i love it okay the next sweatshirt from brandy melville i actually got it from brain i got it from the mini brandy melville in pack sun at my mall and this quarters of hoodie and it is navy blue and white i think i've worn this one time and it was on a plane so um and it says los angeles on it the little flag and then it says 1984 
but yeah super comfy hoodie and I don't know why I don't ever wear it I just think that I wear yoga pants a lot and I don't like wearing navy blue and black together so I don't really get the chance ever to wear it but still super comfortable I love the little collar on the top adds more of a cute little vibe to it rather than just wearing a sweatshirt wow this is a long video of showing you guys my sweatshirts <laughs> great um last sweatshirt that i'm going to show you guys in this video i get so many questions about this one specific sweatshirt whenever i wear it and i'm not kidding you guys i have no clue where it's from my mom actually got it for me one day free people has a sweatshirt just like it and so this is the sweatshirt i have it right here and it just has a hood on it and it's like really, 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 really v-neck. So when I wear it, it just like goes all the way down. So I have to wear a tank top underneath it or else that won't be good. Um, and then it has the little obviously strings for the hood. But yeah, and it just looks like this. And it's a, how do you say this? It's like a washed out dark gray, but very looks like it sat in the sun for a while. I'm not sure what it's called, but yeah. And it's oversized, well it's not that oversized, I think it's in a size, doesn't even say the size. Um, I feel like this is in a size small and if I were to get it again, I would probably get it in a medium or a large honestly because I like it being oversized and it's really cozy. So yeah, I will try to find the one from Free People for you guys that looks like that and link it down below. So those are all of the sweatshirts that I'm gonna show you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing where my sweatshirts were from and if getting like a little bit of an idea of sweatshirts and ones that you can get for, I don't know, maybe ask for Christmas or something like that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Also, before I end it off, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is just my name, Emma McDonald. And join this little, what should I say, like, I don't know, family? <laughs> um, and keep up with my daily uploads of December. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.